I was at church one day and then I saw a band playing, um, obviously playing still pans. And I was like, this is exciting. Like, I've never seen it before. So I was like, do you know what, why not? I'm going to get involved. And the first steel band to come from the Caribbean, they came with what were perceived to be crusty old drums. The British general public had never heard the sound of steel pan before, but they had seen oil drums. So the, the attitude initially was they're having a laugh until they started to play. My name is Patrick McKay, I'm the project coordinator of St Michael and All Angels Steel Orchestra. My name is Kerry Ann, my name is Lemmy Coker. My name is Michaela. So I'm Candice Falconer, I am a director at the St Michael and All Angels Steel Orchestra. With young people, especially young Caribbean females and males, it doesn't always get that positive highlight that we ought to get. You don't have steel pans in every school. They are seen as expensive to maintain and because there is a, a general ignorance of the instruments, it has struggled over the years. Telling my friends from college about how I play the steel pan, they're like, what? What is that? When I tell people I play steel pan, they're like, what's that? And then I get to explain it. I enjoy the embracement of our culture and sharing our culture with the wider population of the UK. Still pan family, we have a tenor pan, which is like your violin. Then we also have what we call double seconds. And then we have something called a six bass, five bass, or nine or 12 bass, which are again equivalent to the double bass section in a string quartet. The violin you learn as a solo instrument. Even though the steel pan can be a solo instrument, there is a joy from day one of working with other young people. There is a unique and a distinct sound that comes through playing as a small or medium size or large ensemble. So just like a piano has all 12 notes, it's based on the cycle of fifths. The first note, the biggest note on this pan is a C. Like five notes up is G, which is the next note on to this, so it's G. Five notes up is D. Five notes up A. E, B, and then you have your sharps and flats on the other side. You're just concentrating on learning the music and getting it done, playing the whole song. It makes you feel good. I particularly love the energy that it brings. So playing as a band and listening to bands um, really brings the sort of energy that makes you happy. And so what we do with, in our young, with our young people and in our community, we do community performances. The first time I did fundraising, and I had myself playing on my own for like a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and I really found that enjoyable, just on my own, just busting out songs. Playing in front of a lot of people, and like when they know this song is what that you're playing, that's even better, because then they're singing along, they're enjoying it, and obviously you're playing it, and you're looking at them. When you look at their face and they're smiling, that's the best feeling ever. That's my favorite. We're very prominent to all ages, all backgrounds within the Caribbean community, especially in Brent, from the young to the old. We get to go to Carnival every year and we get to play and um, compete. And the run up to the two days is just, yeah, let's go, get my uniform on, get on the truck, sort everything out. Once you get to the judging point, bam, 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 non-stop, keep going, keep going. Two hours non-stop, sorted. By the time you realise, Carnival Day is over. So my first year at Carnival, we won. And it was really good. It was really thrilling to hear back from the team that we won. Some have come in previous years where they found that stability and that support within working or work as being part of St. Michael and Dolly just orchestra. And also it allows us to build up on our own interpersonal skills like communication, team building, working as a group. It's not so much the age, it's like, if they learn something before us, then they'll show it to us. And then we can teach somebody else that doesn't know it. Usually it's, I teach you something, and then you will teach me back something else. So you get to learn from each other, that makes us even closer. We're pretty close now, <laughs> we're pretty close, so it's pretty, it's good fun. You, the friendships stay with you, and then the winning part of it, even better. 
we are learning to play to perform to other young people and the wider community and there's no competitive element there all that our young people do is strive to be the best that they can be and they know and understand that when they work together they get things done to a very high standard when when the instrument that has never been heard of is actually being portrayed out in a positive manner and i just want pan to just be listen up